Do you feel like you have to give up your favorite foods if you finally want to lose those last stubborn pounds and be successful? I'm here to tell you that's not the case. So a lot of times when my clients come to me, they're looking for clarity. They've tried every diet out there and they've hit a roadblock where they're not quite sure what they need to do to hit their individual goals. And I wanna tell you a little bit about my personal journey. So several years ago, I had hit a point where I had gained more weight than I was comfortable with. And I had tried different diets out there and I kind of felt like a failure in a way because here I am, I was teaching clients how to become their healthiest and happiest version of themselves, but yet I was struggling to stay consistent on a meal plan. And what I found was that I kept trying to cut out all of my favorite foods, thinking that if I really wanted to lose that weight and keep it off, I just couldn't eat things like ice cream or have pizza. And so I was able to follow a diet like that, eliminating those things for a couple weeks and then work would get stressful or, you know, something would come up and with my family or personal life and I would turn to those foods and I would I would crash I would completely fall off track so what one of my number one tips for you is you need to find a way to make healthy alternatives to some of your favorite foods and that's what I started teaching my clients and that's when they really had breakthroughs and started seeing success it's just like if you were to tell a child and I'm gonna go on a mom moment here if I were to tell my son and he's only six months old right now if I tell him he can't have something or I say bank stop he wants to keep doing that thing and I believe it's the same way when we try to cut out or eliminate food. If we tell ourselves, no, I can't have pizza or no, I can't have ice cream if I want to lose weight, that's the number one thing we think about is, God, I just really want ice cream or God, I just really wish I could have pizza. So if you can find alternatives and ways to still get those items in without crashing or without caving and just going on a complete spiral with your clean eating, you're able to stay consistent, which results in you getting those results that you're looking for. So to give you some different ideas. If you love pizza, make a cauliflower pizza crust. That way you're still getting pizza in, but you're not getting all those carbs and fat. If you like ice cream, now they have different ice creams like Arctic Zone. Back when I was trying to lose the weight, they had not created that yet. So what I would do is I would take a Foyer Greek yogurt. I would mix a little bit of PB2 powder, which is just powdered peanut butter with fewer calories and less fat. And then I would do some liquid stevia in the raw drops and throw that in the freezer for about 45 minutes and I would have myself a delicious ice cream. So what my challenge is to you is I want you to post below and let me know, A, what your favorite food is. So what your number one item that you're concerned you're going to have to give up is. And then I can help you. I'll post in the comments too to help you brainstorm some different ideas for healthy swaps you can make. But I want you to go ahead and get a healthy swap in place now. So that's my homework for you, my challenge for you. If you have found this video helpful, please go ahead and share it with your friends.